Good morning, YouTube. So we're here at day two of the New Mexico Film and Media Conference. I was a really bad YouTuber because I did not film anything yesterday. It was just, it was crazy busy and I was manning the booth all day yesterday. I like barely ate, I barely drank, barely went to the bathroom. So it was a very long day. So today I'm gonna film a lot more of the conference because I think a lot of the positive energies that come out of the conferences like this is really amazing. So stay tuned. Faith is speaking on a panel with other casting directors <laughs> and agents. She's gonna rock it and I'm gonna film some really cool footage. Hello, my name is Faith Hibbs Clark and I'm a casting director. Woo! And I <laughs> am the relative newcomer on the block and that I haven't lived in New Mexico for that long. I've been here for just about four years, started in Los Angeles and started working my way east. Um, my lovely daughter is the casting director in Arizona. She is my, she's uh, the redheaded version of me, so you'll, you'll notice over there. My best attempt at cloning. <laughs> Um, so, very, very happy to be in New Mexico. Love the state, love the energy that you have, and uh, I'm really loving being I think what I'd like to talk about is a different kind of newcomer because I also um, do star casting, so attaching the stars to, to projects. And so, there's sort of another hurdle that you get to. There's in the beginning when you're going from background to you know getting your first speaking day player role, and then, um, and then you can stay there for a while. Uh, and then there's another uh, sort of uh, barrier that you get to in your career where you're wanting to, you know, you're, you're doing these reoccurring roles, you're, you're um, having quite a bit of success, but you're not quite yet getting those starring roles, those roles where you no longer have to audition. Um, and so for that, the advice I would give people who are getting to that level or are at that level is to have a strong body of work be able to have um, a reel that features your very best work. Um, I recently cast a film called Rose, and um, you know, super proud to be able to go to the producers and and show them Amy Davidson's work is in the audience over here, and Eric Fell is also in the audience today, and um, and they didn't have to audition, and now they're doing those student films that we've talked about. Um, make sure you're getting the copies of that because. Some of that work can be absolutely beautiful, and you want to have that in your body of work as you move forward, as you continue to grow in your careers. And it's casting directors, so talent agents, casting directors, we have different roles in the industry, and we both um, have a particular role. Okay, so we're just wrapping up day two of New Mexico's Film and Media Conference, and this is Juliet. She came all the way from Arizona to check That's out right. this super cool conference. What'd you think? It was absolutely worth the time and the money, and it was actually not that far. It's an hour and 15 minute flight from Phoenix, so you know I highly recommend if you're interested in expanding your horizons to come check New Mexico out. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, so Faith just finished up with her panel, and how do you think it went? Oh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> she did a really good job, and I will put some footage in here. This room was packed, so if you're an actor or model in any market, find events like this, go out, network, and just absorb the information wherever you can. <laughs> Okay, well, that's all I have for today's video. I promise next week I will get back to my Lean Bulking series. There's just been so many events that I know my viewers enjoy seeing. So, again, the New Mexico Film and Media Conference was so much fun. We met some really cool people. Uh, and overall, just the energy, the creativity, and the spirit that people have uh, attending these events are really amazing to be around. So, 
It really inspires me to finish off 2016 with a bang and really go for my goals. So I encourage anybody out there who's watching to just remember, go for your goals, be around people who want to succeed and want to see you succeed. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week.